We are ready to start our ceremony. So, Victoria, please switch on the music. So uh, here I would like uh, to give the floor to our honorable moderator, to our uh, uh, WFUNA uh, vice president, Alexey Nikolaevich Borisov. Alexey Nikolaevich, the floor is yours, please. Thank you. Thank you, Nikita. Good morning, dear friends, colleagues, participants, delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Let me welcome you from the World Federation of UN Associations, Gimo University, the UN Association of Russia. You know that and you are aware that we are realizing this project in Russian Federation for more than 30 years and practically in every region of Russia. And usually our largest model UN we are organizing in April at the premises of Gimo University taking into account the 75th anniversary of United Nations, we decided at the last meetings of Chairman Torpunov, me and Secretary General of United Nations Guterres, that he will be personally greet you here in Moscow at the Model UN in May. Due to COVID circumstances, it was decided that the Model UN, our largest Churkin Moscow International Model United Nations will be postponed and will take place in October this year. But our board, Board of UN Association of Russia and the Rector of Gimo University, Akademishan Turkunov, taking into account the activity made by and a great work made by our Secretariat, decided and taken into account this, this challenge of COVID, decided to have this first ever special session of ICASOP of Churkin Moscow International Model United Nations. And it is my honor to give the floor to the chairman of UN Association of Russia, rector of Gimo University, academician Anatoly Torkunov. Dear friends, dear UN model delegates and guests, it gives me immense satisfaction to welcome you to this event and see your enthusiasm in spite of, of the bizarre realities of our today's lives. A crisis such uh, as COVID-19 pandemic is a stress test for any system. And uh, the fact that I'm addressing you today shows that this system of uh, training future world leaders proves to be extremely important. I would like personally thank each and every one of you for your support of this project and your contribution. I know this simulation would be a success. And uh, I'm absolutely confident that despite of COVID challenges, simulations like this uh, one will go ahead. We just need to be patient until we are able to meet again and again and shake hands. I wish you all, your loved ones, good health and safety. Thank you. Thank you, Anatoly Vasilich. And we are thankful to him, uh, his personal support during all of this year to the project of Model United Nations 
and to the delegates and students who participated in Model UN movement in Russia and around the world. You know the graduates of graduates, how we can call them, of Model United Nations became diplomats, leaders of the business, and very active civil servants around the world. And uh, I'm very pleased to give the floor to our friend, director of the United Nations Information Center in Moscow, Vladimir Kuznetsov. Can you, switch, can you switch to the United Nations Information Center in Moscow? Yes, we can, but he has uh, switched off the sound, unfortunately. But uh, he is uh, he is speaking. He is speaking. Uh, but without yeah. sound. No. Uh, you hear me? Hello. Yes. Yes. Do, yes. Nice to hear you. Ah, uh, nice to hear you. Thank you very much, uh, distinguished Alexei Nikolaevich. Distinguished Ambassador and Chairman Anatoly Vasilich Turkunov, Distinguished Alexander Nikolaevich Panov, Dear Ambassador, Dear Friends, it gives me a great pleasure to greet all of you today. The Churkin Model UN at Gimo University traditionally brings together hundreds of students from Russia and beyond. Today I am pleased to participate in an online session simulating a special meeting of the ECOSOC, focusing in particular on achieving a sustainable post-COVID-19 world. We at the United Nations are really satisfied with the fact that despite the restrictions imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic, the Russian public, particularly young people, are actively joining the UN75 dialogues and your model ECOSOC session is definitely one of such UN75 events. We gather at COVID-19 countries to wreak havoc across the globe. The human crisis caused by the COVID-19 pandemic is a reminder of the need to move faster and farther to achieve the sustainable development goals. Now is the time for stronger coordination for governments and society to come together to respond to the devastating impact of the virus and recover better. This pandemic has put a spotlight on the need to strengthen multilateral cooperation, governance, and above our global solidarity. As the center of the UN development system, ECOSOC brings people and issues together to, prom to promote collective action for a sustainable world. The UN response is bringing the policy expertise from across the UN system to support governments with difficult trade-offs needed to help sustain progress against the pandemic over time without deepening economic and social instability and environmental degradation. The response also reflects stronger partnerships with uh, the UN agencies, international financial institutions, civil society organizations, the private sector, academia, and the scientific community. Some donors flexibility in the use of resources has allowed the UN system to reprioritize and provide the support where most needed. The United Nations system remains fully committed to support governments and ensure that lives are safe, livelihoods are restored, financial resources are mobilized, and that the global economy and the people can emerge stronger from the crisis. The Economic and Social Council 
as an inclusive intergovernmental platform will continue to engage and mobilize governments, the UN system, civil society, and young people all around the world to facilitate sharing of experiences and learning to help put countries back on track to achieving 2030 agenda and the sustainable development goals. As you may know, 2020 is a quadriennial comprehensive program review, which is called QCPR year. At the ECOSOC operational activities segment, which took place virtually on 20th May, uh, the member states had an opportunity to consolidate the ECOSOC's role as the main accountability platform for the new uh, development system. And in the fall, as the ECOSOC passes the bastion to the General Assembly, we will see the advent on, of a new QCPR, Quadriennial Comprehensive Program Review Report. As the Secretary General has put it, we must continue to step up cooperation in core areas where our impact is the greatest. Climate change, economic transformation and employment, and rooting out poverty and leaving no one behind. Partnerships, including South-South cooperation, will also be pivotal as well as, as will support to countries in special situations, including those experiencing fragility and crisis. Working together in line with the uh, guidelines established by the Charter, the General and the ECOSO can take bold steps to truly reposition sustainable development at the heart of the organization. Because, as the Secretary General has said time and time again, the 2030 Agenda is humanity's best chance for a future of peace, dignity and prosperity for all. As we mark the 75th anniversary, let us work together to make this a decisive year. Thank you for your attention and I wish you fruitful work. Thank you. Thank you, Director Kuznetsov. I thank you, the note about the anniversary of the United Nations again, the 75th anniversary. And the, as you know, it was established the Russian National Public Committee for this 75th anniversary of the United Nations. And uh, we have a wide range. We already organized um, a wide range of events from the youth programs to the conferences. And through this year, we will have more. And this special ECOSOC online session is also the part of this program. And now I'd like to give a floor to our friend, long-term friend, former representative of Russian Federation at the United Nations and Security Council. Now he's a director of the Department of International Organizations, Pyotr Ilichov. Dear colleagues, dear delegates, it's my pleasure to address you on behalf of Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs at the opening of the Modern Economic and Social Council session. I know that many of you are looking forward to a full-scale Moscow International Model United Nations. It's my earnest hope that against all odds, it will take place this year and you will engage in heated debates, will embrace new ideas, share your own and make new friends. This is what the Model United Nations movement is all about and the reason why thousands of inspired young people around the world participate in it. I would like also to emphasize that Moscow International Model United Nations is of particular importance for all of us and for me personally, because it's named after Vitaly Churkin, our teacher, friend, and colleague for many years. He was a tremendously gifted, talented diplomat who served as a professional and moral compass for many young internationalists. We all honor and uphold his legacy. As we are celebrating the 75th anniversary of the United Nations, we are reflecting on how it and the world in general have changed. However, it would be fair to say that Russian approaches to the organization remain the same. Our country has always advocated multilateralism and a stronger United Nations 
believing that fundamental principles embedded in its charter are the principles that are underpin the existing world order. We are living in challenging times, but we should not let the current difficulties blur our vision of the future we want to build. That is precisely why the international community has to reinforce multilateral cooperation, especially within the United Nations, show solidarity and work constructively towards strengthening stability and resilience to future shocks. Earlier this week at the World Health Assembly, the world community demonstrated a willingness to step up its joint efforts in order to emerge from the crisis stronger and more united. And this is very promising development. Let your discussion on today's agenda be virtual, but nevertheless valuable input to our common endeavors. I wish you all the best and good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Director Ilichov. And uh, you know that it is decided that it's first ever session around the world, first ever of Model United Nations, of Churkin. Moscow International Model United Nations, as it was noted again by Pyotr Ilyichov. And uh, we are sure that the, as a part of our Model United Nations, the ECASOC session will be successful. You have two days ahead. Uh, I hope that the, at the end of tomorrow day uh, we can congratulate you. Uh, as I know, my colleagues from Geneva and New York will inter uh, interact with you during this session and uh, let me again welcome all participants and delegates and I'm asking all delegates and participants to greet our guest Ambassador Torkunov, Directors Kuznetsov and Director Ilichov. Thank you guys to come to us to help us to uh, organize this first ever online ECOSOC session and uh, I'm asking everyone to applaud you from around the world. And now, as we have this tradition, I have to give the right of running this event to our Secretary General of Model United Nations. And I hope that you will be effective as we are. Good luck, guys. And, uh, do a good work because of we need a job we need uh, uh, you as to have this first ever online session to be successful good luck thank you alexey nikolaevich thank you for your inspirational speech and for moderating our ceremony so honorable chair honorable guests honorable delegates i'm pleased and delighted to visit this session of ecosoc as a guest it is indeed a great that we have an opportunity to hold such events at times like these, when our ordinary life is disrupted, when our health and well-being are put at risk. Occasions like that can break the barrier of distance. They can bring us together. It is about staying united, staying connected with each other. That's what we need now. That's what helps us to overcome the terror and uncertainty caused by coronavirus. What is more important in this atmosphere of chaos and global devastation is to preserve ability to hear each other, to share ideas, to work conjointly addressing urgent issues that we face now, and especially those that we are to face after the end of pandemic. It is essential to maintain dialogue between the youth of all countries, regions. Younger generations to which majority of us belongs are the ones who, who should have opportunity to shape the future, to define the way our world will develop. Model United Nations is about this dialogue. It is about introducing innovative policies, new ideas and concepts. It is about disseminating them worldwide. That is why it is a great honor and pleasure for me to contribute to development of this process. Our today's session is devoted to a pretty large and comprehensive agenda, inseparably associated with the notion of sustainable development a topic of major importance in our fragile and unstable world. I hope sincerely that within these two days of debate and shared efforts, our delegates will elaborate a common view, a consolidated approach to this issue. Moreover, this session is of a preliminary character. This autumn, whatever happens in the world, I'm sure, 
we will meet once again during our ordinary sessions of our model United Nations. Thank you. And so, uh, traditionally, I would like uh, to yield the floor to our Honorable Madam President of ICASOC, Arina Samuskevich. Madam Thank President, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Honorable Mr. Secretary General. Um, dear delegates, honorable guests, we are meeting in a very tough age. The pandemic of COVID-19 has become a challenge to international security. Not only do the states have to resolve domestic healthcare matters, but they also need to find ways of cooperation and sustainable future development. That is why the United Nations Economic and Social Council has gained momentum and is now elaborating measures to mitigate the repercussions of the pandemic. On behalf of the President of the Economic and Social Council, I can reassure you that the international community will spend every effort to help the world recover. And on this high note, I announce the session of the Economic and Social Council open. Thank you. So, uh, before we end our ceremony, I think Madam President should make some two announcements that uh, concern some organizational moments, please. Uh, dear delegates, dear guests, we would kindly ask you to be uh, present during our session, our session precisely at 10.45 a.m. Due to the fact that we have a lot of work, we need to discuss many matters. We have to work from this time. Please do not be late. We are kindly waiting for you. Thank you. And I would like uh, to thank once again all our honorable guests that delivered speeches today and that attended our session and our opening ceremony. It is indeed great that we can cooperate even in, in such difficult times and organize events like this. So I think uh, before we start our session, uh, we should have sort of a technical pause for everyone to get prepared for the session to revise position papers. So uh, I think we will meet in a few minutes, in a few moments. So thank you all. We are looking forward to meeting you once again.